Hey guys, welcome back, and this is, uh, I think, episode 5 uh, for my Office 2013 web series. And I'm going to start showing you guys some of the new features that's happening with Office 2013. And I'm going to start it off with everything about cloud. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, Office 2013 is built on a cloud computing service. Now, if you don't have a live account, uh, go get one because it's free and they do give you about 7 to 10 gigs of free space. What's the point of this? As you can see, I have a document and one of the new cloud features within the office is when you go to save as, by default, it tells you, it gives you an option to save it into the cloud and then to the computer or to another place. So within the cloud, you know, I have Bernardo Rocha, which is my name, and the SkyDrive, and then you know, I have certain folders within the cloud that I could save it into. If you're not into the save stuff into the cloud, you can always save it to the desktop. It's really up to you. Okay, but by default, when you hit that save button, uh, it will actually drop it to wherever you want. Another cool feature about the cloud surface is if you go to file and you go to open, by default, it goes to your recent documents. Second option would be your SkyDrive computer, and you can add another place. Again, Office is mostly trying to push SkyDrive because that's that's what it is. That's what the future is. You know, you can save documents in your SkyDrive, log into another computer that have Office 2013, log in into your SkyDrive, and then you know you have access to all your applications wherever you go, which is pretty cool. Now, the best thing about these features is that this is implemented throughout the entire suite so I have Excel open right here I'm open up a notebook and I'm gonna type something in in a1 cell so hello right and if you go to file and you go to save as again by default it tries to save it to your sky drive second default is computer or at a place open is the same thing you got your recents which is always always your your default SkyDrive, computer, and add to place. Again, Microsoft is trying to push out cloud computing to everyone because it makes it real easy for you to, uh, to access all your documents anywhere, anytime. So another great feature that I've noticed within Office 2013 is the touch mode. Now the touch mode is a great feature. By default, it's not activated, but it's normally found in your quick access toolbar which is right here now the touch mode is actually located on every office application I'm only doing it on PowerPoint because PowerPoint makes sense to use the touch mode the whole touch mode is built in office 2013 for tablet or touch screen devices um, you know when you want to present something now to get this feature if you click right here to customize the quick access toolbar you see it's not checked off because by default office 2013 Microsoft decided not to have it as a default so but if you click on it you get a new little feature right here that looks like a finger if you click on it by default you get the mouse and then you get touch now see the difference this is the default but look what happens when I go touch everything looks real spread it out uh, the reason for this is because if you're using a tablet or you're presenting this on a tablet and projecting it and you're using your finger to touch certain uh, actions like an insert, Microsoft gave you enough spread between each command so you won't make an error and let's say if I was picking design but when I touched it I was actually picking transitions or insert. So they kind of spread it out. You don't really need this feature. Again, if you're not really using it, you can always, you know, go back to the mouse mode and, you know, just click on the customized quick access toolbar and uncheck it and that's it. That's a quick view of the touch mode. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Please tweet uh, this episode to everyone. Let them know that this is out. Uh, please Facebook it, please share, please comment, please like, always like when you like, and i catch you guys on next Tuesday's web episode. Peace out.